What is up, guys? Wraith here. Great bearded game. Oh, apparently, I'm trying to attack myself rather than a giant. Great bearded gaming society. And here we are again with our little monkey. We're just uh, been straight doing some farming again. We're uh, just about 20% into our spiffy new level. But one of the things we didn't we didn't get a ton of playtime this week. Uh, super busy at work and a couple things we were trying to take care of. But we've also had uh, a couple of. Uh, comments slash requests kind of in the channel to see where you know where and how we're doing on some of the uh the other guys our uh, our previous contestants on the nine lives challenge so i figured we would uh do a little bit of jumping around to those guys and just kind of see you know where they're at how they're doing what they're doing uh if anything and then uh you know kind of see uh how much farming we get done behind the scenes and see what we can get to this week so, uh, you know, let's start checking in. I think I'll do it, uh, hey, man, I don't know, maybe in an order. Let's see how much trouble it gives me logging in and out, because that is one thing we have noticed lately. Like, I log out and get kicked randomly. So, uh, let's see where it goes. So, we're going to heal back up here. It, Lord! Oh, fell to the ground. Not sure what after that. One last patch they did. I have failed a lot more faint deaths than I ever have. But, yeah, we're going to heal back up, and we are going to get back to it. But let's check out uh, eh. let's check out some of the other guys in the challenge and see where are they now. All right, gang. What better place to start than with the OG, the original, the tune that started it all off, Trafton Thunderheart. Now he's uh, he's come quite a long ways. Obviously, since the challenge, you know, last time we checked in, we were in the twenties, uh, maybe early thirties. Uh, we're now level thirty-six. That we still get, we still have not left unrest, which is hilarious to me. Uh, we've been here for a very long time, but what we have done is we've made a decent chunk of money uh, running around in this zone because we'll fill up our bags and kind of now. I mean, where bags are about overburdened with all the stuff that we'll get, not much stuff worthy of selling, like in the tunnel or anything. But we'll run out to the uh, the lake, you sell stuff there, come back in straight with with straight cash. But that has been able to finance us some quite nice upgrades on our little buddy Traft in here. So we've gotten ourselves a pair of Orkfang earrings, AC strength and hit points, so those are super cool. We're still running the Skull Suit Barboot, that's the same, uh, the Platinum Veil, we've had that for a long time. We picked up on the cheap a chipped Valium Amulet, so more strength, more armor class, a little more just raw hit points. We kind of, uh, oop, I gotta make sure I'm not targeting myself here. We're still running with the Moonstone Rings, we still love those guys just for the, the mana. We're still kicking our same bracers that we had. Cause it's it's kind of actually kind of difficult to upgrade the uh, upgrade that blade the bracer slot without spending a good chunk of money or just being a very nominal upgrade right now what we have done is we got a really nice set of gauntlets finally because we'd had the, like the 40 mana gauntlets but the other stats were somewhat wasted we got the uh, crystal chitin somebody's trying to talk to us so we'll wave <laughs> Oh, let's see. Someone else has the main. There. But yeah, so we, so we got ourselves some Crystal Triton Gauntlets. Those are nice. We're we were trying to stack up some strength. Make sure we get some armor class a little bit higher. Um, most of the stuff on this tier is still kind of... Oh yeah, I forgot we actually did uh, some Rhygor Arm Guards. Um, pretty good AC, raw hit points, some saves. Pretty much cheap. Decently uh, neat look, and then um, at the same time, it was uh, quite the increase or decrease in weight from the bronze, which was nice. Uh, most of the stuff, like I said, on this tier is the same. We did finally upgrade our belt. Uh, nothing fits fantastic, right? Just black and oil alloy girdle, a little more armor class, some stamina. Um, so just trying to get some stats as opposed to like the little bronze girdle that we had uh, in that slot before. Now, the one sneaky thing that we did do, we're still running around with our primary combination, which is the Ghoul Bane and our Cracked Darkwood Shield. We've been, you know, very, really successful with that. But we were able to pick this bad boy up here on the cheap, the uh, Abraham's Axe of the Stoic, which is a pretty solid two-hander. I mean, the, your delay is pretty good compared to your damage. I mean, 30 to 48, it's got some uh, AC on it, lots of stamina, so we don't we get some extra hit points when we equip it, a couple of saves, and a Prox and Vigor. I mean, Vigor doesn't really mean anything for us. It's just a cool light show when we're when we are fighting stuff, but we'll basically run that with our Yalp and just keep everything running. Uh, a lot of times, 
you know, depending on when we can get here and how we can do stuff, where uh, we are actually able to get down here. Did we just had a, no, I thought we just had a spawn as we ran by. We able to uh, see that squirrel. She's gonna get somebody killed. She's trying to help people out, but that's fine. But somebody else was already in this space. Don't know where she's at now, but there was somebody already in this space. There she is. So, like I said, normally we do the same thing they're doing, and we're able to actually solo this whole area now, which is uh, quite nice. But we won't be able to do too much combat footage, because there is uh, somebody right there, we don't want to be that guy. But that's typically where we've been right now. So we, uh, we had started off, obviously, running around in the yard, Running around here on, on these multiple floors, solo and stuff here. There's a bunch of people, it seems, on site here right now. We have uh, we were able to solo the fireplace area for quite a while. That was actually a really good experience, and we actually used it to uh, up our weapon skills. Let's uh, go invis versus undead, so when these people do something ridiculous, we're relatively safe. But yeah, we solo that area, then we start working to the third floor. Uh, I said most things, like everybody's in there doing their thing, so can't really show a whole lot of what's going on right now. Um, but again, it's been a great zone for us. Done a bunch of upgrades for, for Trafton. I think, um, you know, we got two things coming up in the future for him. And we'd like to uh, potentially, potentially take this guy either to the Tower of Frozen Shadows, which is a lot of undead as well. He could do very well there. Or maybe, possibly, kind of uh, a lower gut action. But that's, like I said, Trafton in a nutshell. He also, we did finally join a guild. Uh, so he is kind of tagged up. I haven't done a whole lot with them. I didn't, you know, I told them even when they invited me, he's like, yeah, I jump on and play, but I'm random. I have a bunch of other characters that I play, so I won't be around all the time. They said they didn't care, help when I could. So, you know, he did get gilded, but. All right, so like I said, that's the uh, the catch up on Trafton. All right, so next up on our list, <laughs> a crowd favorite, our Shaman Stink. And of course, we just got trained. So we're going to have to make the best here and see if we can recover this because we weren't quite ready and we got somebody there we go so it looks like we got a really bad puppy summon this at this time around trying to get close enough to see how much damage he's doing but it doesn't look like it's doing very well Yeah, we're just going to go ahead and just reclaim that mana. Sit, boo-boo, sit. Eh. But yeah, so Stink, I mean, you know, we've, we've moved on to basically trying to do, uh, you know, stinky trolley stuff. More so than anything else. I mean, we'll take out some guards. We've done some running around on High Keep. Um, high Keep's honestly just kind of annoying. Probably mostly due to our size like you can't shrink in there Which doesn't make a lot of sense to me uh, So we can't shrink ourselves down. We can't move around very easily. We get stuck in a lot of corridors and stuff Now I mean, we can't handle the guards quite easily, but we're also not uh, You know we're not as efficient at it as say like a mage or you know like the evil monks and right now like you're hard-pressed to compete like every time I've been in there even on some of my farming characters like I am up against a lot of XR monks who just could care less about the faction and just absolutely wreck those guys. Let's pull him back up to here. Get you rooted right about here like a soap. Move back over to this guy like a soap. I think, you know what? Let's just see. Let's get a couple blasts. Come on! I think we'll do that. We'll zone this other guy. There we go. Now these guys drop pretty much trash for loot, but the experience is not bad. So then what we're going to do here, we're going to just step back out, like so. This will reset all of our aggro. And then we'll just zone back over. So when they do like what this particular camp, like if anything does go wrong, if we get trained, somebody runs, you know, we get a couple steps back, 
And bam, we're relatively safe on the other side of the zone. So that guy's still rooted for now, but we should have lost all aggro. So with Stink, Stink is level 36 now, and he's about halfway through level. Uh, we still enjoy playing him. It's a you know different play style now. Really, we don't melee quite as much as we used to. Normally now we let the, the doggo and the dots do the talking for us. So if we have a bad doggo summon, of course everything just kind of stinks. So the last one we had just totally got annihilated. But some of the bigger things that we did do this time around was we did, we went ahead and quested in the Temple of Saul Row for one of the, it's actually a mage item. We went and summoned for the Torch of Alma. So at least when we're trying to get ourselves a decent, uh, a decent puppy on the ground, rather than having to just waste the mana, we can just uh, reclaim energy with that little thing, get all of our stuff back, and cast it again here in a minute. But our single biggest upgrade, like the most of the gear is honestly really the same. Um, you know, he doesn't need a ton of gear, but we did have one huge upgrade. We say it took us forever. <laughs> it did take us forever. We saved up finally for our ceremonial Ixar chest plate. So our ceremonial Ixar region chest plate. So now we have the region on the chest piece. We have the region, which was ours is more now, but we have our spell region as well, which stacks, and then we're a troll. So when we are sitting down, when we are sitting down, we are almost equivalent to wearing a fungi tunic. Almost. Because <laughs> it's, uh, I think it's like five for that, five for the spell, right? And then since we're a troll, we sit down, we get the extra. I think it puts us at like 13 or 14. And of course, the... Uh, the famous fungi tunic is, is I think, 16 or 17, I think, if that's correct. But this uh, it doesn't seem like a huge deal, but it really does let us cannibalize a lot more, especially when we're trying to break into a camp, recover a camp, or something like that. We can really go ham with our cannibalization, even in combat, knowing that we're just going to regen a bunch of our hit points back and stacks up. Um, so it's been super handy. Like I said, we've really been trying to, uh, really been trying to get into some, some, evil trolley tactics you know let's let's whack some guards when we can find a good camp so other people can't do because everybody's too busy trying to play goody two shoes which we of course could care less about because we are not going to get much uh much in the way of faction because that's really that's just not my jam anyway even if you go back 20 years ago faction was not my jam but we've again we've had a really good time playing stink we don't group with him a ton you know we probably could do a little bit better there he still solos primarily but he, uh, he is definitely a blast to play. Like I said, we're doing the root rot thing more so than anything else. We root him, put the dots on him, slow him, put the pet on him, and hang out. That's kind of kind of the plan. So, again, he's been he's been a blast. The big thing is that we, we farmed a lot. We killed treants for so long. I mean, we actually got uh, several levels just doing the treants. And we were, we'd actually, we'd, we bound ourselves in the bank in Nariac. So when we just got to the point where we could almost not even move any longer, we would finally gate back and drop the coin. And, you know, cause of course they could hop a lot of gold. But uh, yeah, you know, it's been great. It's been fun. We've really been on here lately more of a paladin kick. Honestly, we've really been enjoying uh, playing Trafton uh, when we're not playing like our challenge tune. And like I said, he's he's been just dominated and under, so it has been fun. But then we jump on Stink. And we can you really get these nice slow rolling just cathartic camps and have a great time. It's uh, it's hard to beat, especially on nights where you're, you know, kind of semi AFK farming as it were. We kind of have to pay attention to something else. This guy's great for that. But all right, so let's uh, check out number three and check out our uh, our wizard. We'll be right back. All right, the last and probably least, let's be honest here, is. Uh, our little wizard from the challenge, Ezidin, who uh, he dropped out of the challenge at 15 or 16, something like that. And uh, he has not gotten a whole lot of attention since then, not going to lie. We did we did get him to 20. So, excuse me, pardon me. He does actually have like a few of his ports now, so at least we can get to every continent. And to be honest with you, he's, he's kind of turned into uh, kind of our transfer tune really is, is what he's done we like I said we haven't really played him a whole lot we uh mostly got him squished i mean most of the upgrade stuff that he actually has here was hand-me-down stuff from my big mage things that i had either already outgrown picked up wheeled and dealed here and there um you know nothing too spectacular 
it did at least help him, you know, get those last couple levels that he needed. It's it's just not my my play style. Like I'm, you know, root nuking is fine, but it's just you know, root gets resisted, he gets squished, or I hit him and I blast him once and root breaks, and then I get squished. And you know, I could definitely see like with some better gear, quite possibly with a hunting partner, especially somebody with snare, or you know, with some some twink style items. And I know some people love wizards. I'm not taking anything away from the wizard class. It is just kind of not my jam. Like, it's just so, so squishy and so little utility overall because I said right now I've, I've got the root and that's it. If that gets resisted, I'm just in big trouble because they are going to be on top of me in no time at all. Now we did get uh, the last couple levels when we were messing around in uh, unrest. We just stayed there. But even then, we still went splat or time or two because we shot a nuke off too early, shot one too soon, you know. So, uh, yeah, mostly now he's, uh, and I think I even bound him. Yeah, I mean, I've actually got him bound in the tunnel. So even if I if I hit my gate, he's going to actually show right up in the, uh, the common lance tunnel. Because, like I said, I've been using him uh, to move things around. On my other characters, so I don't you know, call them. But I said, hey, I've got some stuff to move, and doesn't matter kind of where they're at. I can get out back and forth, and then get right here to the tunnel and hand stuff off as I need to. So he's uh, at this point, he's he's basically a pack mule. <laughs> so there you have it, guys. That is uh, kind of a, a quick and dirty down update on uh, the other guys from the challenge. I said some of them were, were still actively playing. The other ones, eh, not so much. But uh, we haven't haven't deleted anybody. Everybody's got a skill set that's at least useful. I said right now, like I, said, uh, I mentioned earlier, we've been, we've been on a pretty good Paladin kick. So when we haven't been playing our, our Monk, we've actually been rolling our Paladin. He's, you know, he's been a lot of fun. We're trying to get to that next, um, that next round of, of spells. Which to, to kind of shore out his his toolbox. He's got a, they've got a really strong toolbox, and obviously it's it's slow to develop because they don't get spells you know early or often. But I mean once they do, I and mean, right now I mean he's got the stun, he's got the lull, he's got inverse versus undead, you know handfuls of buffs, and at the same time he has root. So I mean there's there's been times where you know if I have a bad pool, I'm able to root one off and just keep that guy out of the way, or other times. Where I've been able to, you know, if I'm in just a hair over my head, what I've been able to do is uh, root the guy, back off, heal myself, then re-engage on my terms, which is pretty handy. So, like I said, he's just, he's just been fun to play. But, uh, yeah, that's the update on those guys going around. So, we're going to keep merrily farming away on Riordan. Uh, trying to see, I mean, I doubt we're going to crank out another level here. It's uh, Again, it's, it's a good spot. Not all that exciting. Can't lie about that. Uh, and again, you know, a little bit slow, but it has been been good experience. At some point, we'll have to go and sell and see how we're doing there. But until next time, guys, as always, if you like what we're doing, hey, please don't forget to like, comment, maybe drop a subscribe down below. We do love to hear from everybody, especially if you got some cool ideas on some places we can go to either farm some experience that is new or exciting, or maybe farm some loot, maybe farm some upgrades, things like that. We would love to hear from you. But until next time, guys, stay safe, stay distant, stay in EverQuest. And we will catch you guys next week. Night, guys.